Hello and welcome to this edition of Hornet Pride. My name is Robert Buskirk and I serve this community as Superintendent of Schools. Today I'd like to welcome our Director of Human Resources and Business Operations, Mr. Jesse Catanzaro. Thanks, sir. We'll see you. Today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, Jesse and what he did this summer. He had a very busy summer, of course, hiring new staff. That's a major part of your summer. But in addition to that, we had uh, a number of projects going on. Um, here in Monroe, obviously, we are always looking for additional spaces in our buildings. And this summer, Jesse was in charge of a number of projects to help create more classroom and academic space for our students. Uh, can you share with us what all was going on this summer? Absolutely. So, the uh, last few years in our district, our media center at our junior senior high school has been used to support two different classrooms and really not a well-designed space, originally designed uh, for just a, a plain library. With no walls separating two classrooms in use at one time, our district looked at uh, how do we increase the amount of student space without uh, a new construction completely. So we worked uh, last last spring to go through our collection and, uh, and adjust how our media center is used. It's divided now into four spaces instead of one. We have, uh, we have had some walls and some windows, and you'll notice if you've been in our media center before, all of the stacks and materials have been, uh, been dispersed amongst our elementary library and some classroom collections as well. We also took our athletic training room, which was, uh, which was large in a normal classroom, and took a portion of that, had, uh, had left a small sliver of an athletic training room, and then also had made a classroom in there. And we have taken a, a room that was on our mezzanine by our weight room and turned that into two classrooms. We, we uh, have also uh, some designs of uh, new furniture you'll see on Main Street behind us and around us. Right now we're walking through the, one of the areas that we've uh, added to space for overflow for the cafeteria for lunches. Uh, which has helped tremendously, and then it also serves as study hall throughout the day. And we anticipate when we have indoor events, this will be a nice space for the community, uh, whether it's a, whether it's a play or a performance in the auditorium or something in the gym, a chance to have a, a seating that's not uh, that's not in the arena or in the auditorium. So we're really lucky to see some of these improvements and, and be able to make do as our student population continues to grow. Uh, we we have had. Uh, a lot of exciting things to be able to to uh, see this happen without necessarily putting up a modular or some of the other short-term solutions that other schools have had. So trying to, try to maximize our students. Absolutely. Our goal is always to create more academic space for our kids. And we're trying to do things to be more creative with the current spaces we have. Uh, we do have one more project coming up here. Uh, it kind of got delayed with everything seems to be delayed nowadays in the construction world. but. Uh, in between, they're going to squeeze it in. In between volleyball season and basketball season, what's, what's our, our one our remaining Ford project? In our main campus, has not been repainted and resurfaced and complete since the building was opened in 2004. And so, uh, we have a we have a design that's kind of in the works right now, and our community is going to see a, a wonderful new basketball uh, and volleyball surface for uh, us. Hopefully, ready to go by the time basketball season tips off. So that'll be an exciting, it is exciting. very exciting thing for our kids and, and community. Yeah, well, uh, like I said, Jesse, you've been busy this summer, and uh, we appreciate all the hard work. It has created some great spaces for our kids. And we will continue to uh, look at creative ways to make more academic spaces for our kids. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this edition of Hornet Pride, and uh, I look forward to seeing you out in the community. Go Hornets!